Hey guys, how's it going? So, I just recently tried out uh, some of these fixes to get rid of micro setters in H1Z1. I know a lot of people have been having the same problems I have. Since season three till now, I've been having the worst micro stutters. And just recently, I quit playing for about three weeks because I could not play the game. It was unplayable. So um, I got back on and the stutters were still really bad. I was about to quit, but then I went online and saw some different guides on how to fix them. I put a couple things together and sure enough, it actually got rid of my micro stutters. I've been going on about 12 hours now without getting a single micro stutter. So I wanted to go ahead and share the settings that I changed uh, for you guys. So I go into the NVIDIA control panel. Here, let's just go ahead and start from the top. I'll adjust image settings. Here, I went ahead and used the advanced 3D image settings. And then what it's going to do is uh, you're going to change these to the exact ones I have. These ones that I applied were from different guides on how to get the most FPS out of your computer. They were to uh, help your computer run on your graphics card and less on your CPU, which is kind of the big deal of why you're getting the micro stutters. A lot of people think it's because your CPU is getting overloaded. So what I did here is I turned pre-render frames to one. A lot of this stuff I turned off and on. You want to make sure you have these same settings. Um, make sure this is on high performance instead of high quality. You want to go for performance most of all because you want your graphics card working the most that it possibly can. You want your graphics card running at as close to 99% as you possibly can and you want your CPU to run less than that. Anything more, your CPU is doing way too much work. So this whole idea of changing this stuff around is to make your uh, graphics card work a lot harder. So I changed the uh, power management to maximum performance because you want as much power possible. That's going to give you more frames. Changed a bunch of this stuff. Just kind of click over it. Just copy exactly what I have down here. Uh, over here in configure surround. So we're going to apply yes. Over here in configure surround. I put the processor to the G4 as a GTX for the settings. That way it's running on your graphics card and not your CPU. This is extremely important. I've seen a lot of guides on this, and they said that this alone has helped with their micro stutters. So you could even try this to start out and see if this helps. And if it doesn't, then you can go back through all those settings and change those as well. After that, you want to apply it and just close this down. That's it for the NVIDIA control panel. Go down to the bottom left and type in privacy. You should have a privacy settings button here. Now in here in general, this stuff runs, it should all be on. This stuff runs in your background while you're uh, gaming and playing, and this can run your CPU a lot higher. It will never show it to you, but these things are working really hard to get this stuff going. So this stuff is going to track all this stuff, and you don't want this running in the background. So if you turn all these off, uh, this is another one of those things that was like a 10-second video on YouTube where they're like, go to here and turn these off, and you'll fix all the micro stutters. So I did this one. I did the NVIDIA control panel, and I did the uh, changing the processor to the... Uh, graphics card and all three of these things once I did them got rid of all my micro stutters So I just wanted to share this because hopefully this helps you guys um, I know how annoying they can be and it's the worst thing ever to have micro stutters So hopefully these work for you. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but it worked for me So I wanted to share it with you guys. I hope it works